How Probiotics Can Improve Your Gut Health What are probiotics? Probiotics are bacteria that line your digestive tract and enables your bodies to absorb important nutrients and fight infection. Dr. Axe states on his website that 80% of your entire immune system is located in your digestive tract. They may be microscopic in size but probiotics are heavy hitters when it comes to supporting and improving your body's overall health. While we tend to think of probiotics as just another supplement in a bottle, the reality is they can be found in various foods, in nature, and yes even in a woman's vagina. The name probiotic translates, for life. I think that sums it up nicely. What do probiotics do? Here is a brief list of some of the health benefits of probiotics, strengthened immune system. Lessen the likelihood of coming down with a cold or flu. Improve digestion. Prevent diarrhea caused by taking antibiotics. Improve the balance of candida in your gut. Weight loss. Reduced symptoms stemming from irritable bowel syndrome. Increased energy. Healthier skin. Healing from inflammatory bowel disease and leaky gut syndrome. Replacement of bad bacteria, yeast and fungi with good bacteria. 12 Probiotic Killers While probiotics are known to greatly improve your gut health, there are also many things that contribute to the destruction of probiotics in your gut. When your gut flora is out of balance, not enough probiotics or good bacteria, then your body is unable to regulate the growth of bad bacteria, yeast and fungi that naturally reside in your system which can have a negative impact on your overall health. Here is a list of things that can destroy the beneficial probiotics in your gut. Prescription Antibiotics Meat and dairy products from animals given antibiotics. GMO foods or meat and dairy products from animals fed a diet of GMO foods like corn, soy, etc. Tap water. Highly processed foods, especially junk food. Processed or refined sugars and grains. Chemicals and medications, mouthwash, antacids, laxatives, etc. SADS, aspirin, Advil, Motrin, etc. Emotional stress. Antibacterial soaps. Douches. Smoking. My personal experience with bad gut health. I write this article from a sincere desire to help other people who suffer from a wide range of health issues as a result of not having a healthy gut. The reason is because I too suffered from various issues stemming from bad gut health and not enough probiotics in my diet. In 1998 while driving with my sister I got hit from behind while stopped at a stop sign and as a result I suffered from severe whiplash. It was made worse because my head was turned to the side as I was talking to my sister when I got hit. While the damage was not severe the pain was. I had to wear a neck brace and was forced to take prescription muscle relaxers to stop the pain. Despite physiotherapy I still had chronic pain and issues with my neck which led me to take NSAIDs like Advil for years. To this day I still have issues with my neck but I have other ways to relieve the pain and avoid NSAIDs as much as possible. This was the start of my health issues which ultimately stemmed from destroying much of the good bacteria in my gut. I had constant bowel issues, suffering from bloating and gas issues. I developed severe migraines from eating dairy. I had itchy rashes on weird parts of my body, eyelids, groin, etc., recurring yeast infections, brain fog constant fatigue, nausea, and was constantly sick with something. If I went more than three months without being sick it was a miracle. The sad part was, I just figured this was normal and I just had to endure it. This went on for years. I stopped getting migraines when I stopped eating dairy. You have no idea how happy I was to be relieved of the pain and fatigue from severe migraines. It was amazing. I told my doctor and he didn't believe that the dairy was connected to my migraines. But I discovered that there was a connection between what I ate and what was going on in my body. I was a sugar addict, I ate a ton of junk food, McDonald's, candy, chips, pop, etc., and my health suffered as a result. When I stopped, or at least greatly reduced, my intake of processed sugars and junk food, as well as my stopping the use of NSAIDs I noticed a big improvement in my health. 
When I began incorporating foods that contain probiotics and started taking probiotics I was like a whole new person. My candida issues began to disappear in just over a week. Please do not underestimate the effect the health of our gut has on our overall health. That is the moral of my personal story and it is my hope that by reading this article you will be able to start on the road to better health with the help of probiotics as I did. What about prebiotics? What are prebiotics? Are they important for our gut health? A prebiotic is actually a non-digestible carbohydrate that acts as food for the probiotics and bacteria in your gut. Most prebiotics are something called oligosaccharides. They are resistant to the human digestive enzymes that work on all other carbohydrates. This means that they pass through the upper GI system without being digested. They get fermented in the lower colon and produce short-chain fatty acids that nourish the beneficial microbiota that live there. The reason why prebiotics are important when it comes to your health is because they essentially help the good bacteria in your gut work more efficiently, including any probiotic supplements you take or probiotics residing in your gut flora. In simple terms, probiotics are dietary fiber that enhance the growth of healthy bacteria and provide health benefits to the human body. Four steps to increase the amount of probiotics in your gut and enjoy the benefits of probiotics. 1. Stop eating the foods that can destroy the beneficial bacteria in your gut. Eliminate if possible or greatly reduce the amount of processed junk food you eat. Take antibiotics only when absolutely necessary, and take a probiotic supplement at the same time. Stop drinking tap water which contains fluoride. Switch to organic meat and dairy or find out which brands offer antibiotic-free varieties. Stop taking SADs if possible or find more natural drug-free alternatives for pain management when possible. Drinking alcohol and smoking have also been shown to negatively affect the healthy microbes that make up our gut flora. Quitting either of these lifestyle choices will go a long way for your health and your wallet too. 2. Eat more fermented foods. Many fermented foods tend to also be sour foods such as pickles, sauerkraut, and kimchi and as a result they also contain certain types of healthy acids that promote a healthy pH balance, slightly alkaline, in your body which in turn supports the growth of good bacteria in your gut. A few servings per week is ideal. Drinking something as simple as raw apple cider vinegar in your water, 1-2 tablespoons per cup, has been proven to be beneficial to your digestive system and overall health. I use Bragg's Organic Raw Apple Cider Vinegar myself. First thing in the morning is a great way to give your body a jump start to the day and get your body's pH in the alkaline zone. 3. Eat foods rich in probiotics and prebiotics. Foods that are rich in probiotics are yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, miso, tempeh, pickles, fermented ones, kimchi and kombucha tea. Be sure to choose dairy products that do not contain high fructose corn syrup or artificial sweeteners as they have been shown to negatively affect your gut health and are not ideal for good health in general regardless. Yogurt made from goat's milk tends to be naturally higher in probiotics and can be easier to digest if dairy is an issue. Also, kombucha tea may not be ideal for anyone suffering from candida issues. Be sure to read labels and do your research before purchasing. Foods naturally rich in probiotics are as follows, Jerusalem artichokes, chicory root, raw dandelion greens, leeks, onions, garlic, asparagus, whole wheat, spinach, beans, bananas, oats, soybeans. 4. Take a probiotic supplement. The time it takes to replenish our body's gut flora with good bacteria can take weeks or even months in most cases depending on how much damage we have inflicted on ourselves through bad diet and lifestyle choices. Taking prescription antibiotics alone can wipe out millions of these microbes. While making all the changes mentioned in the previous three steps is an excellent start to improving your gut health, taking a probiotic supplement can speed things up greatly. While many probiotic supplements boast millions or more of certain strains of beneficial probiotics, 
you want to be sure you are also getting the maximum amount of different strains as well, CFUs. You want a minimum of 10 different strains.